Hello everyone, I'm Karen Polito, Lieutenant Governor. It's great to be with you today, and I just want to say thank you to the Shrewsbury Public Library for highlighting Women's History Month here in our Commonwealth. It just gives me a few minutes to first of all say thank you to all my friends in Shrewsbury, and in particular uh, those who serve in government, local government, and our legislature, just really appreciate what everyone has been working so hard at this past year. As I come to this conversation, uh, I am known as the 72nd Lieutenant Governor. I am the fourth woman to serve in this role. And I can't help but think that the reason I have this tremendous opportunity to serve alongside of Governor Baker is because of my upbringing and opportunities that came to me growing up in my hometown of Shrewsbury. When I think about the work that I do now, uh, clearly the connection to local government, I have visited every community of our Commonwealth, all 351 cities and towns, and have established really good, strong relationship with municipal officials all throughout our state. And that stems back from my experiences as a select woman on our Shrewsbury Board of Selectmen, my days as a town meeting member, as a member of the Shrewsbury Zoning Board. And I brought all of that local experience with me uh, to my work as Lieutenant Governor. It also stems back to the upbringing that I had, uh, sitting with my grandfather, who served as a school committee member and one of the longest serving town meeting members in Shrewsbury, and many of my family members continuing to serve in local government today. I also had an amazing upbringing in terms of just the quality of life, opportunity to edu for education. And as the chair of the Massachusetts STEM Council, I spend a lot of time uh, doing work with our school districts and with the private sector to bring more opportunity, especially to girls, around skills and pathways forward to land a STEM career. And that's something that I started when I was a state representative uh, serving from 2000 to 2010 in Shrewsbury. I also wanted to highlight an important group that I joined when I returned home from uh, college, and that was Advise Against Domestic Violence in Shrewsbury Education Project. And today I happen to be the chair of the Governor's Council to address sexual assault and domestic violence in our Commonwealth. I spend a lot of time uh, working with my partners in state government as well as in our communities to reduce the incidence of violence in people's lives, particularly domestic violence and sexual assault, and allowing for more women to break out of these cycles and gain stability and safety and opportunity in their lives. I highlight these, these few things because a lot of this all happened when I was growing up in a great town that offered a safe and healthy uh, just opportunity to grow up. And that clearly is still part of our Shrewsbury story. And it's clearly a part of what I love about raising our two children, Bobby and Judy, uh, with my husband, Steve. Uh, it's just been a, a great uh, chance to see them grow and mature and soon be graduating from high school and moving on to pursue their paths in, life, in their lives. I was asked to comment on a book that means a lot to me. And actually, I was rummaging through a cabinet the other day, and I came across a very special book that I enjoyed reading uh, to my daughter. Uh, it's about uh, a girl, uh, 10 years old, her name was Mary, who lost her parents. And she was sent to a place where she needed to be cared for. And she was obviously upset, angry, sort of self-centered. And the book called The Secret Garden uh, was a book about transformation, a book that helped her discover through a garden that was really not active or alive and transforming that garden into a beautiful uh, living place. 
at the same time helped her transform uh, her perspective on life to find happiness and joy in the everyday things that are around us. And I thought about that to share with you because over this course of this past year, we have all been transformed. And as hard as it has been for individuals and families to deal with COVID-19, it has allowed us to think about the things every single day that maybe once we took for granted that we don't take for granted so much anymore. Uh, maybe more time with family, more dinners with your children, uh, more opportunities to get outside and take walks and enjoy the great outdoors. I just close with that by saying just thank you. Thank you for doing your part. Thank you for highlighting Women's History Month and the importance of all the women who are making a difference every single day in our community. And just thank you. It's been a tremendous honor to serve my hometown and I thank you for this special opportunity.